the fuck is WTF? The idea of WTF came from two separate bike rides. Uh, one was for Whitney's birthday that Jocelyn and I were a part of, and that happened in Whitefish. And that, there were actually seven of us. And uh, at the time, Jocelyn was at PW, uh, Whitney was at Adventure Cycling, I work at Rivage GPS. Uh, so we're all part of the bike industry. Um, and at the time, we were pretty frustrated with uh, what was happening uh, within the cycling community. Um, so when we were riding, we are like, shoot, like we can't just wait for this change to happen. Uh, we have all the skills needed to start something with ourselves. This same conversation happened a few months before with Nam, Sarah, and Whitney uh, at the Grand Depart uh, for the Baja Divide. You know, the Baja Divide was like the first, uh, it was a kickoff of that route, but one of the route's founders was a woman, Leo Wilcox, um, and it inherently brought uh, 50, over 50% 50 of WTF riders, which is pretty unheard of with within bikepacking. We wanted it to be all across the US because we weren't, we don't represent, the Pacific Northwest is like very special <laughs> in that there are a lot of people that bike. The numbers kind of ebbed and flowed. We, the average was about like 13 people and these are all uh, free rides. We wanted it to be accessible for everyone. Our max was supposed to be 13. Uh, <laughs> for two rides, but it, people were already in Montana already, and there's not much else to do in Whitefish. <laughs> and if we saw another bike park, we were like, okay, you're obviously here for us. We're adopting you. You are adopting you, yeah. Uh, and it was just like super awesome to be like actually doing what we're preaching, um, and we thought that was really important. And this all led up to the summit. Uh, so basically stoking the stoke, and uh, this is during one of the clinics that Jocelyn led. It was, uh, you can speak about it. <laughs> uh, this was a uh, fundamentals of off-road cycling. So we covered uh, some of the basics pertaining to proper braking, uh, how to turn comfortably, um, like descending comfortably, so just some of those skills um, that uh, somebody who has spent most of their time riding in a city or an urban environment um, might um, could use practice with just to get more comfortable when they start to transition their riding off-road. Yeah, and this is a, a Whitefish bike retreat, which is where the summit was, and they had tracks going through the retreat, which is super awesome. Uh, cricket who is the owner of Whitefish Bike Retreat has done the Great Divide like more than 10 times. <laughs> uh, we also had a lot of um, just workshops and presentations. Um, we wanted to be accessible for someone who is just learning about bike camping or bike packing to someone who um, wants to learn more about fundamental skills of riding. Uh, there's a ride range for everyone. Uh, and this was the group shot. We had about 100 people attend. And this was, all these photos from the summit are from Gruchel, who is here. So just want to give a shout out to that. Yeah, and this was uh, the last day, I believe. Yeah. And there's actually not pictured, there's like a dog running yeah. around here. We were like laughing at the dog and like begging the dog to come, and then we started all howling at the same time. Um, and that was a fun moment. And uh, we're really just there to bring together and support, connect, uh, and celebrate um, women, um, femmes, trans, non binary, just genderqueer. Anyone, uh, just really focusing on that because a lot of the industry right now is focused on cis men. Um, yeah, and from there it kind of just uh, takes you into the well, the actual location. <laughs> we are situated inside of Vernonia, Oregon, just an hour uh, northwest of here, um, on uh, 
Chinook in, um, what is this, uh, Clatskanai land. And uh, this is right off the Banks Vernonia Trail. If anyone's hit it, it's just a right turn and you'll see that sign, Vernonia Springs, which is pretty sweet. Um, what else is in that area? We also got the uh, Crown Zeller Rock and then soon to be the Salmon Berry Trail. So definitely keep your ears open. There's awesome things happening along that line. Right, Like I said, right off the Banks Vernonia, but just uh, um, east of there is Stub Stewart, um, where they have a bunch of mountain bike trails and cabins. Um, but at the Vernonia Springs location, we'll have yurts, wall tents. Um, tents are, there's plenty of room for tents and uh, car camping as well. And we'll be able to host everybody on, on site this year too. Yeah, we'll and we're understand. planning on hopefully getting 150 folks. Uh, last year we were just under 100, but uh, this will be a little bit more spacious for camping on site. Um, like I said, spacious. It's 28 acres of forest land and there's a nice pond and a creek that goes through. Um, like I said, we'll, we'll be meeting them from August uh, 15th to the 19th, four days outside. Um, and uh, we're kind of focusing on, uh, you know, bringing the cycling community together, but then also talking about um, issues that uh, kind of just like spark up because uh, we're all getting out on our bikes these days and it's all kind of to relieve uh, relieve the things that are going on in this day, whether it's like politics and all that stuff, or just to get out from a hefty work week. Um, but we're bringing back some exciting sessions from last year, which were like a ABC of uh, bike mechanics, um, anti-oppression 101. Um, uh, we had an awesome session with bags and gear that kind of led towards more of like a women own business and how they, how they kind of stand apart from that. Um, route making and navigating, which Molly uh, leads with my sister. Um, camp cooking, which is always exciting. Getting uh, all, all the different techniques that everyone has to share. Everyone's bringing something different. Um, along with that, we're going to do some art and bikes again, because I'm all for that. Uh, bringing out your sketchbook on that bike ride. There's no rush to get that ride done. <laughs> Plenty of snacks, of course. Um, and then uh, another good one was uh, user guides to public lands, just to kind of know where you can go and where it's where it's safe. Um, some new ones that I'm excited about bringing back, and there are also some uh, more listed on the back of the summit set or summit programs list here. And uh, my favorites are the herbalism of the road, kind of just looking at what what you see out there and what you can actually bring to your dinner table at the night. Um, shred the system system being C-I-S-T-E-M, and uh, Bike Fits, which uh, potentially will be uh, led by Molly from uh, Gladys Bikes, which is kind of cool. Uh, as far as sessions go, you might have heard that we are doing a uh, proposal for uh, sessions still. We haven't nailed these down, but um, we have opened a form, a Google form. It's on our website uh, under our I, think contact page um, you can submit a session by March 18th and we're just looking for anything from I mean like day adventures to like bossing ice on your bike and stuff um, really I mean it, it we're bringing ourselves together because we all ride bikes but there's a lot of heavy topics going on and you can't ignore that of course and we do notice that a lot of the, the industry, cycling industry events out there, are just like product after product. This is how we're going to get, yeah. Money. <laughs> yeah, money. Um, but yeah, we're open to that. We're really hoping that uh, we can uh, bring some underrepresented voices to the mix as far as like queer, trans, and uh, as well, well as um, black, um, indigenous and people of color as well. Great. As far as ticket sales go, we are hoping to get a little bit more help. Uh, that's why we're handing out some of these. We've sent some of these out to our, our 
uh, favorite bike shops and adventure shops out there and uh, they've responded very kindly to these so if you know any this is a postcard and just stamp a sticker on the back <laughs> ship it out what is it oh so this is a uh, small business uh, uh, campaign or just just a donation campaign because we are um, still really trying to lower that ticket price and it does it does take a lot to lower that um, <laughs> I know like educational experiences out there will go for like, I don't know, a thousand dollars a ticket and we do not want that. I mean, last year I think we hit about um, 250 for actual like cabin um, stays and we have a lot more options for that and like a hundred something for um, there. So we're really aiming to go there or below. Um, so yeah, that small business campaign is a really cool way for us to um, not be dependent on like one or two businesses uh, that would give us a big chunk of change and then we would have uh, you know obligations um, so what we're really looking for is the community's help to make those uh, more numerous smaller donations uh, that are really heartfelt and, and given um, freely because they want to see our community um, exist and thrive and grow um, so thanks for your help spreading the word we're also going to be doing a um, selling some special ticket or special uh, stickers um, here soon we're kind of pulling this campaign together right now but when you buy this special sticker it's going to come with a drawing uh, for some prizes that we're going to have available some nice prizes uh, donated um, in-kind prizes from some, some bike shop companies uh, for those of us that aren't able to make it to the pre-summit ride though we are still going to host um, a, a ride to the summit on Thursday so the day the summit starts uh, we'll be able to gather uh, probably meeting at uh, Chris King's office in uh, Northwest um, and they're gonna serve us breakfast and coffee and then we'll get off uh, on, the, on the way and ride out to Vernonia um, so that'll be really fun and more information forthcoming about all of that um, I think that's all I got and we also have uh, there's no pressure to get a ride here a ride in um, planned actually before the summit it can be any time oh yeah it's a good question good point yeah it, 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 it gives me good it'll, it'll, be, it'll be on ted talks one day uh, so that will be at evo at the end of the month and then and thanks we, to evo they're also helping uh they're a financial sponsor of the of the summit so they're helping us get there which is great and then we are having a benefit auction and raffle that Jocelyn has mentioned at Golden Pliers on the on April fifth. And then we'll we are doing trail building with the Northwest Trail Alliance at Stubb Street. Uh, as mentioned, Stubb is right next to Vernonia, and we want to help maintain and build the trails that we're going to ride on. <laughs>